Well, we are talking about disturbing allegations. Behind me here at the Oklahoma County Jail is where Michael Brown is being held without bail. Now, we are not mentioning the victim's names for privacy purposes, but we did speak to Brown's close friend who tells me this is totally out of character. I can't see Michael doing that, and she's a fighter too, so I can't see her letting that happen. Brittany Hensley has known the alleged victim and Michael Brown for five years. She calls the allegations against Brown bogus. I don't know who to believe. According to police reports, the day after Christmas, Brown showed up at his ex's home near Blackwelder and Northwest 48th. Reports say the 27 year old pushed his ex inside. There was a fight, and he allegedly tied her hands behind her back with a chain and locked it with a padlock. The report goes on to say he stole $100 and his ex's car, only to come back 30 minutes later to unlock the padlock and remove the chain from her hands, all the while apologizing, saying it would never happen again. He then asked for a ride. She complied and then called police. Brown's alleged actions come as he was ordered to stay away. His ex filed this order of protection in November. Hensley says the victim's story doesn't add up, but hopes the truth comes out in court. I love them both, but I can't see Michael doing that. I mean, I just can't. And I'm told the alleged victim is staying with family right now. As for Michael Brown, he remains locked up here at the Oklahoma County Jail, facing a number of charges, including burglary and kidnapping. Outside the Oklahoma County Jail, Dave Detling, KOCO 5 News.